Hey everyone, this is Dr. Clyde Letsom, and in this video what I'd like to go over is how to set up a circuit um, using a breadboard. Uh, this always seems to be an area that uh, students have a really difficult concept with, so I want to make sure that, uh, at least for my students, you kind of get an idea as to how to do this. Alright, so let's start off first. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at setting up three different types of circuits. A series circuit, a parallel circuit and what I call a combination circuit which is nothing more than a circuit that has both uh, series and parallel components in it okay so the first one we're gonna look at is a series circuit and in this series circuit we have a power supply here okay and we have three components these can be capacitors or they can be resistors uh, for now let's just think of them as three generic components and uh, because we're saying that these components are in series what this means is that any current leaving from our positive terminal here goes through with component number one then into component number two into component number three and then returns back to the source so everything that goes through one component leaves the source goes into one component goes into second component third component all of them end up going through each other so this is what we're saying again the current goes from this to this to this to this and all of it does that all right in order to do that we can uh, set that circuit up on a breadboard and so on the left side here I have a simulated breadboard uh, on this breadboard we have three terminals we have a uh, ground terminal we have a voltage uh, B terminal and we can call this our voltage A terminal down here okay and then over on our right side here because we're trying to set up a series circuit what I normally uh, suggest to my students is go ahead and set up the circuit uh, the components on the side here so that they look like they're in series and notice I didn't put the power supply here um, it will be explained a little bit later why not but you can go ahead and set up those uh, series component on the side here as if you plan on setting them up in the circuit and in order to connect them into the circuit there's a few things that you need to know so on here you'll notice that there are some circles and then with some uh, that have some lines going through them the circles indicate places where you're actually going to stick the lead from the uh, component into the board okay areas where you can do that and so if you look at this circuit here what you'll notice is that there are five circles here and then there's a line going through them. so what this is saying is electronically all three all five of these holes here are actually connected to each other and so are these five here these are connected to each other however though these five are not connected to these five here along the uh, left and right side here you'll notice that all these lines here are connected to each other with a black line and so what it means is that everything in here is connected to each other okay and then these are connected to each other over here on the left side however they're not connected to each other if they were connected to each other then you would expect to see some sort of a black line heading in between them all right so now given that information then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place these components here on the board and we're going to put our power supply uh, we're going to connect our power supply to the board so that we can supply power to the board and again our circuit needs to be set up as a series circuit these pieces here are just wires that we're going to use to jump uh, everything together in order uh, what I mean is we're gonna use it to connect everything together alright so the next slide what you're gonna see is that I'm going to put all I'm gonna place all the components such that they're in a series circuit on the board alright so here we go they're now in a series circuit on the board and what you'll see is that the power supply over here has been connected the negative terminal here has been connected to the uh, negative or ground uh, terminal over here and then we have the positive terminal that's been connected to our VA uh, over here. And then you'll notice that I have a wire here that jumped from that terminal over to the um, line over here. And what this is indicating is that my ground has been connected to everything along this line. So everything in this line here is all connected. Uh, for the red terminal, you'll notice that um, all of that has been connected via this line here to this uh, terminal over here or this uh, bus over here these are what are, these are called by the way they're called bus okay and so from there then I can power my circuit these circuit components have been connected into these holes and this hole here for this one this hole and this hole here for this one and this hole and this hole here for this one and by doing that again my circuit is in series believe it or not so if we were to wipe away all the holes that are not 
a part of this circuit now that we've connected everything all right you'll notice that this is my series circuit here where I'm getting my plus voltage from here it's going through this component okay then going down to this component and then going over to this component when it gets back here to our ground okay or in other words the negative terminal of my power supply and so that again was our series circuit connected now let's say we wanted to connect a parallel circuit and for a parallel circuit what happens is the current is going to leave from the positive terminal here it's going to go into all three of the components and then it's going to exit all three components and head back to our source and so we want to set up a circuit like that okay utilizing the board in the most efficient way possible or, or an efficient way okay and so we'll take these three components again what I always suggest to my students is to set up the components on the desk in parallel first okay and once you've done that then start placing them on the board in such a way that will help you out again notice that all of these are connected here and then all of these are connected but remember they're not connected to each other okay so now placing all our, our components on the board such that they're in parallel this is how I would set up my circuit okay so again my voltage supply is going to that post there and then that post is connected to one of the buses that we're going to use for positive voltage okay and then we're going to set up the negative terminal here to our ground post that ground post is going to be connected to one of the buses and we're going to use that to be our return back to the voltage source okay and so from there then you'll notice I connected a wire from here to this point and because I connected this point that means everything in this line here is going to get a positive voltage okay uh, however though notice that there's no connection between the left side and the right side of the board no connection between here and here so I have to make a jumper over to this side in order to connect this component over here and by doing that I also need to also connect a, a jumper from over here in order to ensure that all the bottom portions if you will of these components are connected to each other and all the top parts of these components are connected to each other in order for them to be in parallel so now again if we wipe out all the holes if we remove all the holes just so we can uh, reduce con uh, confusion here that are not connected in the circuit you'll notice that just the ones that are remaining you can see that these are now in parallel with each other so this component here is in parallel with this and this component here is in parallel with that alright and again it's getting its positive voltage from here which is connected down here to the positive voltage over here which is then connected to our power supply over here our quote unquote negative voltage if you will or we'll use the term ground I like that better uh, the negative uh, is connected to this ground post here and then that ground post is connected to this so it provides a way back if you will for the current back to the uh, source okay so now let's look at our combination circuit in our combination circuit again remember we have two parallel components okay and if I think of this as just one component here that one component will be in series with this component here and again uh, we think of the current as leaving the positive terminal and going to those two components there then the current that uh, is at the uh, top there is going to go through whoops is going to go through uh, these two components here and then they're going to you know sum up together and go through this last component here at the bottom before going back to the source okay so again what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the components on this side here on the side first such that they have that uh, configuration okay so this is this uh, component that component that component and then I'm going to transfer them over to the board such that we can uh, make that connection so that these two are in parallel and then this is in series with that piece so if I do that I can do it this way and you'll notice here again the power supply is connected to the red terminal that red terminal is then connected to the bus over here the red bus okay that we're going to use for our positive voltage and then the negative terminal here is connected to our ground post and that ground post is connected to this bus here and we're going to use this as our ground or the return path to the power supply okay and so 
any voltage that's leaving from here or current that's leaving from here, pardon me, is going to go through this line here over to these two components that are in parallel. So remember, some of the current's going to go through here, some of the current's going to go through here. They're going to sum up together over here and hit through this component over here back to the source. Okay, and so if you question whether, you know, are these really connected as I say, again, we're going to wipe out all the uh, holes that are not connected to a component. And you'll notice exactly what I said. So these are connected here together. Okay, these are connected here. We have the parallel two, and then these parallel two are connected back to this, and we go back to the source. Okay, so this was a quick tutorial on just how to set up uh, very basic circuits again, series circuits, parallel circuits, and combination circuits using a breadboard. Uh, again, my name is Dr. Clyde Letsom. Uh, you can check out uh, more information about me on my website, ClydeLetsom.com, and you can subscribe to my YouTube page. And if you like the video, if it was a clear description as to how to set up your circuit and how to understand whether certain components are connected together or not on a breadboard, just go ahead and uh, like my video. Thanks.